The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Selah. That's the 24th Psalm, verse 10, out of the New King James Version. Well, again, we praise God for all of you being here with us today on this beautiful, thriving Thursday. My name is Enrique Brooks. I am honored to be the senior pastor of Thrive Church and host of the Prayer 365 podcast, where we are on a mission to transform lives through the lifestyle of prayer. And it is an absolute privilege and an honor to be here with you today. We praise God for all of you that are here with us live today. Those of you on Facebook and YouTube and each of you on our conference line. It is an absolute blessing to have you here with us. Um, we thank God um, for those of you on the conference line. It was a little bit of an issue. It was actually my fault. I apologize. You had to jump back in again. Um, it was a habit of muscle memory. Um, but nevertheless, we thank God for your presence. Before we get into our devotional, I just want to extend an invitation to each of you to join us this coming Sunday for our Sunday worship experience at Thrive Church. At Thrive, we believe that God did not make you to simply get by, nor to barely make it, or to struggle, or to simply survive. But he created you, in fact, to thrive. And so we look forward to joining you, or that you joining us this coming Sunday. We look forward to coming alongside you, rather, this Sunday during our Sunday worship experience. Service starts at 1030 a.m. You can join us in person or online. Um, our physical address is 5015 North 17th Street, Tampa, Florida, 33610. If you've been looking for a church home, your search just might be over. We would love to have you. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and, and press on forward into our devotional for this morning. We've been in a theme this week titled Serving the Sovereign. I want you to say that aloud. I want you to put that in the comment section. Say Serving the Sovereign. Serving the Sovereign, or in fact, as we've been saying it so far, I serve the Sovereign. Yeah, that's my declaration. I serve the Sovereign. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so uh, this has been a theme where we've been really being intentional about identifying and even clarifying the boundary between creator and creation and more specifically the sovereign and the servant. Um, we are the servants and it is our responsibility and even our calling to serve the sovereign. And so uh, this has been focused out of the 24th Psalm. Um, we've been navigating through it. Um, I encourage you, if you haven't already, read the entire Psalm. I know the Thrive, you already have homework, um, reading Genesis chapter 2, as well as uh, 1 Peter chapter 2. But of course, you can add this into it as well. It's a very short Psalm, and I think that it's helpful in order to really help help shape our paradigm around who God is. Somebody say he's the king of glory. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we started this week out by declaring that number one, God is sovereign. On Tuesday, we said that he is holy. On Wednesday, we said that we must repent to ascend his throne. Now today on the fourth, uh, the fourth key for serving the sovereign is to ascend to seek him. In other words, our primary object objective in ascending the throne of God is to seek him. Let's look at the scripture. Let's go back to the 24th Psalm. Verse, uh, we'll start at verse 3 and read through verse 6. Who may ascend the hill of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek your face, Selah. 
brothers and sisters, we must ascend to seek him. What is the one of the benefits of serving the sovereign is that God is a rewarder. Um, he is one who's just and he has a reward for those um, for those who seek him. In fact, we find this discussed or mentioned in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 where um, where the writer says and many believe it's Apostle Paul, I can go with that. Uh, but without faith, it is impossible to please him uh, for he comes for he who comes to God must believe that he is. Let me pause there for just a second, if I may, um, in order to ascend the throne of God. Um, it's not only just repentance uh, from sin, but we must believe that God exists. I think that's that's pretty clear. Um, it, it's, 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 it's really crazy. Um, and I, I hate to even put it that way. Um, it's not I ideal to believe that one can ascend the throne of God and you don't even believe God. That, that, does, that doesn't line up. Um, but let's go a little further here and say, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And so um, we must be intentional about seeking God. What does it mean to seek him? It means to pursue him. It means to go after him. Um, and in the psalm, it says that this is a generation that seeks your face. What it's saying is that uh, those who pursue God's presence. Can you see that? Yeah. Wherever a face is, that's the presence of that person. And so when we seek the face of God, we are seeking the presence of God. All right. And so, but, but in this, in this seeking, we find that God rewards those who seek him. And what is that reward? Because I think that that's, that's really important for us to consider. Um, many times um, we think of, we think of things, um, especially, I know that one of the rewards of, of seeking God is prosperity. That is one of the rewards that we find in seeking God. It, it, we, all, we will prosper in seeking him, but that's not the primary reward. That's not the most important reward. Can I show you what it is? Uh, I think that the, the first place we'll go here is Genesis. We'll start in the book of beginnings. Um, let's, look at, let's look at what God told Abram. He said this, he said, after these things, uh, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield. But look at that last part. Your exceedingly great reward. Whew, my God. In other words, God is telling Abram, he said, I am your reward. Oh, my goodness. I, I, I could dance. I could shout. I could run around this room right now because what God is telling us is that if you seek me you'll be found by me in fact he said this through Jeremiah he said and you will seek me and find me watch this when you search for me with all your heart brothers and sisters I want you to know that God is the rewarder of those who seek him and he is the reward how many of you want God? Hallelujah. Listen, things come and things go, but to have him, my God, to, to have him, to have the king himself, to have access to his throne, to his presence is worth more than anything else in this world. I think that it's important that as we are serving the sovereign, that we must know that we are not seeking after things, nor even seeking after ourselves. But it is important to know that in order to serve him, you must be willing to seek him. I want to pray with you this morning because I believe that God is calling us higher. Oh, yeah. I believe that he's calling us higher. He's calling us into, into another dimension to not pursue the things that are beneath or below here on this earth. I think that one of the reasons why there's so much chaos is because our pursuit is after things that really don't matter. God is calling us to seek after him. He's inviting us to seek after him. But you can't just 
think that you're going to pick up the Bible one time and all of a sudden you have all this revelation. No, 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 no. How much do you want him? How much are you willing to pursue him? And when you seek him with all your heart, you will be rewarded. And he is your exceedingly great reward. Let's pray. Father, we honor you and we bless you today on this thriving Thursday. Lord, we recognize this morning that the key to thriving is to seek you. The key to prosperity is to seek you. But Lord, when we think of prosperity, Father, it's not simply things, but it's you. You are a rewarder of those who diligently seek you. Father, I believe that there are those who have made it their business to be here every morning, to be here in prayer every day. Father, this is a reflection of our desire to seek your face. This is a generation who is serious about seeking the sovereign. And so, Father, we're asking for our reward. You told us through your scripture that you are the reward. Those who seek you with all of their heart, Father, Lord, if there is any place that our hearts have been attached to, we repent today. And Father, we, we yield all of our heart. We invest all of our heart in pursuing after your presence because we are servants of the sovereign. And Father, I believe that you are my reward. I believe that you are my sister's reward. I believe that you are my brother's reward. And Father, there's nothing greater and nothing else that we desire except you, because it's in you that we live and move and have our being. Lord, I pray, Father, for protection. I pray that, God, that you would cover us. I pray for the one that's traveling to the various destinations, Father, whatever the assignment is that's ahead of us today. Father, I pray that, Lord, that you would guide us through it. And Father, that we would walk with our reward, that we would live with our reward, that we will talk with our reward because, God, you are our reward. Lord, help us and show us how to how to bask in your glory, how to, how to celebrate your presence, Father, how to enjoy the reward that's found from seeking your face. We're coming up higher so that we can be in your presence, so that we can experience God. As we close out this prayer, we pray as your son taught us. We say, our Father who's in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. And all of God's children say, amen. Well, God bless you. My name is Enrique Brooks. I'm honored to be the senior pastor of Thrive Church and host of the Prayer 365 podcast. So we're on a mission to transform lives through the lifestyle of prayer. And I encourage you to take 60 seconds to reflect on this morning's devotional, how God is calling us to ascend in order to seek him. God bless you.